What's up guys? Today we're going to be learning how to culture Infusoria and Daphnia for your baby fry. So in my personal opinion and experience, this is the easiest way to do it. I like taking Jab Moss, which was in this 30 gallon before we removed it. I have it in this five now. And I can actually see stuff moving on the surface here. So I know there is stuff in this Jab Moss. In most Jab Moss, you'll be able to find Infusoria. And if you're lucky, you'll have Cyclops or some form of Daphnia. So the first step is to get yourself, I like using a clear container. This is just an all chocolate almond container, just so you can see what's happening. It makes it a little easier and it has a lid, which can help with the smell. And then you're just gonna grab a clump of Java Moss. From your tank, I'll put you guys up in there so you can see it. And the wads, get it in there, let's squeeze it out. all that nasty water. I like dumping it back in. Let's do it again. And one more time we'll do it. Let's that. Really get that nasty water in there. And normally I'll break off a little piece. Just chuck it in there and we'll chuck this back in this tank. All right, the next step is you want to fill this up with tank water. I'm using the same tank, so it's the same temperature, pH, etc. So you're just going to let that siphon going. Fill it up. I'm going to collect some of this crap. Just because the more crap, the more likely you to get more Daphnia you are. I'm going to fill it up majority of the way. Looks about right. Oh, look at this, guys. All right, so I've been noticing these seeds kind of just spawning in at my room. So you can focus on it. It's just like anyone knows. Oh, I can't get focused. What these are, please let me know. This one has roots. So we're gonna keep it in the tank and see what it develops, I guess. Hey, so now that you got yourself a tub of crap, you're gonna carry it into a room. You don't care if it smells like crap because these things smell disgusting. Luckily, these cultures haven't really smelled like crap, but it's also warm in this room, so it's perfect. So now I'm gonna show you the stages of the culture. So what you see sinking down there is just some yeast. I did not put a scientific amount, so we'll see if that fails. But that is how we feed the Daphnia Infusoria. So we'll see what this culture becomes because I know there's Daphnia in there too. But there's not a lot because I never bought Daphnia. So we'll see. And this culture is the most successful. <clears throat> and as you can see, literally right there. See that little white speck moving? That is Daphnia or a Cyclops. So that is more like baby brine shrimp size, a little smaller. Better for like medium to baby sized fish. While these little white specks that are floating around right here are all da are infusoria and are great for freshly born fry or newly hatched. Really easy to culture and would highly recommend. 